Hey everybody, today I'm going to lead you through the hardware setup of a Night Owl wireless NVR system, or WNVR for short. Pay close attention to the on-screen text, which will provide some important tips. Now let's get started. Carefully open the box and remove the two inner boxes. One is for the WNVR and its accessories, and the other is for the camera and its accessories. Keep the camera accessories together and separate it from the wireless NVR accessories. When deciding where to place your WNVR, locate a central spot in your home. By placing it in a central location, the cameras can be mounted within the device's wireless range. Now for the initial setup, it's best to place the WNVR close to your router, and it must be connected to a TV or monitor. Also, Although these cameras wirelessly transmit video to the WNVR, they are not battery powered and must be powered using the included power adapters. The cameras have a wireless transmission range of up to 300 feet with direct line of sight. Proper placement of the wireless NVR in your home ensures you achieve maximum coverage. Take note of the types of obstacles that can interfere with the wireless signal. Let's get the wireless NVR connected to your TV or monitor, which must have a minimum resolution of 1080p and an open HDMI port. If your TV or monitor doesn't meet the minimum required resolution, a black screen or a no signal message will be displayed. Using the included HDMI cable, plug one end into the HDMI port on the back of the wireless NVR and the other end into the TV or monitor. Keeping your wireless NVR connected to the internet is optional, but connecting for the initial setup is extremely important. During the initial setup, a connected wireless NVR automatically updates to the most recent software version. Now keep in mind our tech support phone agents cannot assist you unless you're running the latest software version on your WNVR. The WNIP2 series works with our Night Owl Protect firmware and application. Once you create an account, either using the app or the Night Owl Protect website, you can log into your recorder with the same credentials. If you still don't want to connect to the internet, you must manually update the software every time a new version is released. Follow the on-screen instructions to manually update the wireless NVR's firmware. Plug one end of the included ethernet cable into the LAN port on the back of the WNVR. Plug the other end into your router. Now, if you don't have an open port on your router, you can use a network hub or switch back of the wireless NVR. Attach the antennas to the back of the WNVR. Make sure to attach an antenna to each camera. Before installing the cameras in their final location, it's imperative to test all of them next to the WNVR. The last thing you want is to permanently mount a camera and then realize there's an issue. Plug each camera into a power supply cable and then into a socket, surge protector, or UPS. Make sure the cables are securely connected. When the cameras power up, you will hear a voice prompt letting you know the cameras are in pairing mode. Connect the WNVR's power adapter to the rear of the WNVR and then plug the other end into a power strip, socket, or UPS. Once the wireless NVR is plugged in, the super cool Night Owl logo appears. The startup wizard appears on screen and leads you through the rest of the setup process. Navigate slowly, paying attention to all the on-screen directions. If you don't want to connect to the internet, we recommend doing so for the startup wizard. This way you can use the Night Owl Protect app to create an account, quickly add your device, and check your camera's live view without having to run back and forth to the monitor. Also, when prompted by the startup wizard, log into the WNVR using the username and password you just created for your Night Owl Protect account. The startup wizard searches for and pairs the cameras to the WNVR. If you do not see a camera's live view, click search again. Do not mount a camera unless it has been paired to the WNVR. Finally, let's test the camera's night vision. We can do that by cupping our hands around the camera, and then the camera's live view will turn to black and white. Again, test each camera. The easiest way is to use the recorder startup wizard. You can also use the camera tab found within the recorder's menu, 
but the startup wizard is recommended. Also, please note WNIP2 series cameras will only pair with a WNIP2 series Wi-Fi NVR. Log into your recorder using your Night Owl Protect credentials. Right click on the live view and then left click on the startup wizard icon on the taskbar. Follow the on-screen instructions to pair the camera to the recorder. Do not I repeat, do not mount the camera until it is paired to the recorder. When you first plug the camera into a power supply, its voice prompt says, device is ready for use. Then it says, camera is in pairing mode. The status indicator light on the camera's cable flashes rapidly when in pairing mode. If the camera cannot be found by the recorder, it must be reset. To reset the camera and to place it into pairing mode, use the included reset pin or something similar to press and hold the reset button until you hear the voice prompt say, please be patient, camera is resetting. Once the voice prompt says camera is in pairing mode, you can click search again. Once you see the camera's live view, Continue through the startup wizard to complete the setup process. Power on the camera using the camera power adapter. Depending on the camera model, either the camera says camera is in pairing mode or you'll hear a series of beeps. The status light then begins to flash quickly. If the camera is not in pairing mode, press and hold the reset button until you hear the camera say camera is resetting, or it beeps. Now, using the included mouse, right-click on the screen, and then left-click on the menu icon. Enter your username and password. Now, if you don't know your password, click on Forget Password and follow the on-screen instructions. Once you're in the menu, left-click on the Camera tab, and then left-click on Add Camera. The camera may take up to three minutes to enter pairing mode. With the camera in pairing mode, left click on wireless add. The wireless NVR searches for the camera. Notice that the bottom portion of the screen shows all cameras that are currently paired to the wireless NVR. Close the menu to see the camera's live view. It's important to note that you can only have as many devices as you have channels. In this example, the WNVR has eight channels. For more support videos, quick setup guides, and manuals, go to our support site at support.nightowlsp.com.